Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be talking about the understanding slash interpreting of fractions as division. And as you can see, there are three word problems on your screen. And we're going to go through each of these word problems and set up our division problems as a fraction. Now, let's jump right into number one here and you'll see exactly what I mean. So number one says, a pet store has six dogs. 33 ounces of dog food is split evenly between the dogs daily. Write a fraction that represents the amount of food each dog gets daily. Now, there's 33 ounces being divided between six dogs. So we could write the problem 33 divided by six or 33 divided by six, but here we're writing our division problem as a fraction. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is being divided up, the number being divided up. And that's the 33 ounces. That's being split between six dogs. So whatever is being divided up is your numerator. It goes on top. So our 33 is being divided up and it's being divided by or between six dogs. So your denominator is whatever number uh, it is being divided by. So this would be our division problem here. A fraction is division. So this says 33 divided by six as well. It's just in fractional form. But we don't wanna leave it as an improper fraction. So let's get it to a mixed number and that's going to be our final answer. So 33 divided by six. How many whole groups of six can we pull out of 33? Well, five, because that gets us to 30. Now our remainder, what's left over, is three. And you keep your denominator the same. So five and three sixths would be our answer, but we can actually simplify there. There's a common factor between three and six. We can divide them both by three. And we get five and one half. So each dog gets five and a half ounces of dog food daily. So let's go to number two. Marcus is equally splitting three sticks of butter between four recipes. Write a fraction that represents the amount of butter in each recipe. So again, whatever number is being divided up, that's your numerator. It's it, what, it is what goes on top. The number it's being divided by is your denominator, the bottom number. So we have to determine what's being divided up. Well, the three sticks of butter is being divided between four recipes. So three divided by four. Now, that fraction simplified. It's not an improper fraction. So that's actually our final answer. So um, let's reread here. Write a fraction that represents the amount of butter in each recipe. Well, each recipe is going to get three fourths of a stick of butter. We could circle our answer here. And again, the most important thing to take away from this video is whatever is being divided up, the number being divided up is your numerator or top number. And the number it is being divided by is your denominator, the bottom number. So let's take a look at number three. Two friends shovel snow off driveways for their neighbors. They make a total of $36. Write a fraction that represents how much money each friend makes. Well, what's being divided up? The $36. So that's going to be our numerator. And what is the number it's being divided by? 
that 36 is being split between two friends. So that's your denominator or bottom number. Now that's our division problem, but it's an improper fraction. So we don't want to leave it like that. So we need to do 36 divided by two. How many whole groups of two can we pull out of 36? And the answer to that is 18. And there is no remainder. It works out for a perfect whole number here. So each friend made $18. So there you have it. There's the understanding slash interpreting of fractions as division. The number being divided up is your numerator. And whatever it's being divided by is your bottom number, the denominator. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.